Shop students, it's Mr. Clifford with a quick overview of microeconomics unit six, market failures and the role of the government. All right, the free market is awesome, right? Competition is a good thing, right? And, and having prices determine who gets what and who doesn't get what, this is a good way to allocate resources. But it fails. It what? It fails sometimes. It fails to produce certain products, or sometimes it overproduces some products or underproduces some products, and that's called a market failure. You're going to start off this unit learning about the market failures. The one you're going to learn first is something called public goods. Now, you got to ask yourself, if we had a true free market system, which we don't in the United States, but if we did, would we have schools? Would we have highways? Would we have national defense? The answer is kind of. We would have schools, but will we have enough? Will we have enough to educate everyone who needs to go to high school? No, we wouldn't, right? Because these would have to be private schools that people have to pay to go to because we wouldn't have a government. The point is, public goods are a market failure. The free market fails to provide public goods. So what we need is we need a government to provide public goods, and that's what the government does. The next concept you're going to learn is something called externalities. Now, it's actually pretty simple if you pay attention. It involves external costs and external benefits. And so if left to the free market, there would be too much of some things produced and too little of other things produced. And that's called externality. There would be external costs and the supply curve would be in the wrong spot. Or there's external benefits to somebody else. And so the demand curve is in the, in the wrong spot if we're left to the free market. Now, the next thing you'll learn from there is you'll talk about monopolies. Now, most of you already talked about monopolies back in Unit 4, but you're talking about antitrust laws. And the key to the free market system is competition, and monopolies destroy that key. So if you haven't already learned it, you learn something called fair return and socially optimal, and where the government could put a price ceiling to regulate a monopoly. Another thing you're gonna learn about is the idea of distribution of income. Now, if it was a true free market society, some people would argue that people would be dying in the streets. There'd be no welfare programs. There'd be nothing to help people who really are just destitute, right? And so we distribute income in a mixed economy. The government takes from the rich, they give to the poor, and they distribute income. Depending on your teacher, you might learn other things. You'll learn about asymmetric information or moral hazard or other things like that. But the key things are public goods and externalities. Make sure you got those down. Make sure you know the graphs for externalities. Good luck. Till next time.